I'm going to talk a little bit about exercise with oxygen, or more importantly, what we call super exercise with oxygen. Uh, a little bit of comparing it to a hyperbaric chamber and to another procedure called enhanced external counterpulsation. Now we've all seen people walk around with these little O2s up their nose and hooked up maybe to the oxygen concentrator or a tube of oxygen, right? Problem with this, what? Look how little this is. Breathe the little air in, suck it in, a lot goes out the mouth, some goes in, how many actually goes in, into the body, into the tissues, into the cells, right? So that's where exercise with oxygen came in, where you basically would, again, you would attach your nasal, or a lot of times they're using like these little small masks. So we hook our oxygen up to hit this, we hook it up to our oxygen condenser, or our oxygen tank, and now we exercise while well, our body's getting the oxygen, and we're using heart rate and blood pressure to spread that oxygen throughout the body. Well, super exercise with oxygen takes it a little bit further. We get rid of this thing, and we have a reservoir, we have a big mask, and a big hose. So, super exercise with oxygen, what we're doing is we're filling this with pure oxygen, okay? This is all oxygen, look at all that in there, okay? Now what do we do is we attach it, our oxygen reservoir, to our holes, our big holes, and a big mask. Not any little one. We have a one-way valve on here, so everything that you're breathing in is pure oxygen. So a big mask. So these are basic anesthesia masks. So, big mask. Now what do we do? So we attach the, 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 the hose up to the oxygen reservoir, and we get on an airdyne, an elliptical, an easy step, arm workout, whatever. So what you're basically doing is you're taking in a high-quality oxygen, right? A lot of it. Okay, a lot of it. I suck down a container bigger than this in 10 minutes with the uh, exercise with oxygen therapy this morning. Felt fantastic. So, what are we doing? We're taking in a lot of oxygen through big holes, through big mass. We're getting our heart rate high. So we're super saturation in our body and our, and our blood with oxygen. Now we're getting our heart rate high and we're pumping that high oxygen deeper through the tissues to the cells, okay? More oxygen generally means better healing, better health. Okay, now I want to compare this a little bit to um, a hyperbaric. What does a hyperbaric chamber do? Hyperbaric chamber puts you in a chamber, fills that up with oxygen, and then increases pressure, right? And they're using the pressure of the, the chamber to try to push that oxygen through the cells, right? Or to the tissue. So, what's more effective, what's, what's faster? Sitting in a hyperbaric chamber, Breathe in there, but you're just laying there under a normal heart rate and letting the pressure squeeze that in. Or sucking in huge amounts of oxygen while our heart rate is high, pumping that throughout the body. Now, let's, another thing, and I really love this, but no one uses it. It's called exter enhanced external counter pulsation. Okay? And mostly the people who use this are chirologists on patients who are not a candidate for a stent. Okay, so I mean it can help people, it, it, it's, it, it's approved for cardiovascular disease, for angina, it's been actually shown to regrow arterioles uh, around the heart, but you never hear of it, okay, because they're putting stents in instead of doing a lot of that, enhanced external counterpulsation. So what is enhanced external counterpulsation? Look it up, it's, it's great, if you don't have access to this, get into it. So basically what you're doing, is you're laying down on the table, you got basically big blood pressure cuffs all up your body, on your lower body. It's hooked up to a machine, so your heart beats, imagine your heart beats, it pushes that, right, that, that oxygen or your, your blood further into tissues. The heart relaxes, then pump, pump, pump. It's, these blood pressure cuffs squeeze you up. And what are they doing? They're shining all that blood, you know, back to the heart. Okay? Which is awesome. And, and people have reported great results with that. They do an hour a day for about a month or 35 sessions or something like that. Um, it's fantastic, but, but again, let's compare it to this. Now, I'm not using any scientific research right here, okay? I just want you to think a little bit, okay? Do your research. Search this stuff, okay? First of all, you're not going to see a ton of stuff about the super exercise with oxygen. You'll see a lot of stuff with the um, exercise with oxygen, but it's with the... Uh, the smaller mask, okay? When I'm on this thing, 
I'm sucking it in. What I'll do is we'll do an interval. So I'll do a 30 seconds or uh, 10 seconds to be another person. As hard as you can, get that heart rate up, then relax from it. The idea is just get your heart rate up, suck that in as you're resting, super saturate the oxygen, let that oxygen go off throughout the tissues, okay? Um, so again, back to the enhanced external counter pulsation, okay? That's awesome, but like I said, that's just basically pumping the, the, the blood back to, to the heart, which is great, and it's been shown to do this great stuff. But we could do that in a, in a fraction of the time um, with something like the uh, exercise with oxygen. And one thing we could do also after that is do strength training, okay? So you could get all this oxygen in you, get the heart rate, pump it through your body so that highly oxygenated blood is getting tissues, and then we can do a strength training session where your muscles are really contracting, and what that's going to do, even push that blood into um, the tissues. So if you're fatigued, if you got circulatory uh, disorders, um, talk to your doctor, really look up this exercise with oxygen, or more importantly, super exercise with oxygen, with a big mask, a big tube, and a huge reservoir of oxygen. Um, if I could be any help, drop me an email.